welcome back to angular 12 series so in this episode we will be seeing pipe how we can create custom pipe and why do we need pipes okay and basic implementation why pipe was there in the angular library itself okay so pipe are nothing but uh, what we can say kind of a functionality which allows us to convert data before rendering on the html okay just see like this uh, create creation date is coming date value is coming with the date then time zone then time also okay so user don't need to see like what is the entire value is okay what he just need to see like this only like what is the date okay so apart from that you can see some columns are empty because they don't have values some values are undefined null or it is coming empty so by looking at the list it looks like something is missing okay so it is better to show na or hyphen hyphen like data is not present something we can provide okay so for all these things like before rendering data to the page we can modify that and then it can render okay so for this only angular has provided some data okay so let's go to angular side what uh, diff actually there are some default pipes which are already provided by the angular itself which we can use directly without any uh, without creating or anything or without writing any logic okay but if we have some specific requirement like uh, in this video we will be taking one example like for the empty columns we have to create our own pipe which will have some symbol or what we can say na or hyphen hyphen if value is null empty or undefined it can be okay so coming back to angular side we have date pipe then upper case lower case current pipe then decimal pipe and percentage pipes okay so let's see one by one for let's say uppercase pipe okay so this is just the example i'm uh, following from my previous video okay so to use let me zoom a bit okay so consider like username if you can see here username some i mean let's add a near user let's select date let's don't add anything okay so if you can see aditya is starting with small a yuraj is and remaining are with starting with capital okay so suppose i want to make before rendering all the names i want to make sure that all are in capital okay so for that i have to use the pipe symbol then upper okay here's the output so rahul demo one everything what where what are the values we are getting in the name attribute all is getting converted to the uppercase same as it is let's convert to delhi to small pipe symbol lower case so we can see all the cities are in small case okay so consider like you have one requirement that first letter should be capital okay so we have a capital so let's add this upper case to state now capital pipe is there which will make only first character capital i think we have to search like okay it's title case yes okay so you can see all the first letters are capital okay so these are the basic one for uh, what we can say lower case upper case and the title case suppose like for date okay let's see this is for creation date pipe is date date okay so let's see now what only date gives us so when applying we have applied just date pipe so this gives us this output okay suppose you want your custom date like uh, ddmmyy format should be in present in the your date okay so how do we do that this is an parameter dd hyphen mm hyphen yy yy four times let's check this okay so if you can see i have provided the format so that's why it is showing like this now let's add one m2 suppose you want month name 
so you have to use 3 mm let me check what is wrong i think it should be capital yeah it should be capital okay so suppose you want your date should be like this so you have to use dd mm mm capital and yy four times okay so suppose you don't want to 2021 you just need last ending two characters because that is that is going to what we can say identify the year okay so i'm just providing two year two yy so it will just provide the last two digit of my year this is about date okay so these are the default parameters we have and the default normally pipes we are going to use okay one more pipe is there like uh, consider i'm taking an empty td so i want to see like what are the data we have in this user object everything so i have pipe as json so let's see now how it what it does it will provide us the complete object okay but if you like let's remove this pipe if you try to print whole object it will say like object object because that is an object to print object in the html you need to use json pipe this is again useful when you work on the actual environment or on an actual project this is going to help like what data you are getting and what you need to print out okay so this is about json pipe let's remove this let's create our own custom pipe now to create custom pipe uh, the example is like we need to show something here like wherever empty tables empty column is there like uh, it doesn't have any value okay in that scenario only we want to show like hyper hyper or na not available or anything you might like okay so let's create a custom pipe for that i have created a pipe folder inside that i will run a command so command is pretty simple ng g for generate p for pipe and your pipe name let's say na na is a short form of what we can say not available okay so pipe is created now you can check like what we have so whenever we create a pipe with angular cli this is the structure we gave this is your unique pipe name this is nothing but what we have previously seen with default pipe lower case upper case date so now your pipe name will be na okay so transform function is a function which is uh, what actually transform the name itself in, uh, provides us the meaning like it is going to transform a value whatever the value we are going to pass it is going to transform that okay so in this function let's add a if check if the first parameter is the value so value will be like whatever the value we send it here i mean by whatever the value wherever we are applying the pipe this is the value which will be uh, which we are sending and this is the parameter okay after colon whatever you send is the parameter and this is the value so value let's check if value not equal to empty and not equal to undefined value can be undefined also or it can be null these are the three normal cases where we can expect value okay so value it can be empty it can be undefined or it can be null okay if it is not in either of these then we can return value as it is it is coming okay but if it is empty then we can return let's say hyphen hyphen i am for now i am returning hyphen hyphen now let's okay one more thing like whenever we have i mean we have created pipe with the angular cli let me show you what we have got it has created two files and it has updated one file that is app module so whenever you created the pipe pipe will go in the direct declaration section same as the components okay and same as the directory also if you create your own directory also it will go in the declaration section only in your app module okay so na let's add okay one more thing here you can add multiple pipes also like this okay let's say add everywhere
let's save it now okay so now you can see wherever we have the empty value you can see hyphen hyphen is there now based on the requirement you can either provide something like na that means record not available or value not available or you can say the hyphen hyphen also based on your project requirement and based on what you need to show you can use it so this is just a simple example for pipe okay consider like you i want to send a parameter also to this so i'm using first for first pipe question mark let's say from here itself we can define like what value i have to print like either either it can be hyphen hyper or it can be na okay so let's say i'm providing na we are going to get only single value so param colon string you can say multiple parameter also now i will return only string so you can see where we have sent let's remove this in if statement if we have got the parameter if param is not equal to empty then we can send return param otherwise we can return hyphen hyphen just for your understanding we, we are taking like this suppose from wherever you are using this na pipe if you have sent the parameter so it will show whatever the option you have sent along with it otherwise it will show hyphen hyphen so let's check it now i think we have broke some code let's check okay so let's make it optional because it has broke our code because we haven't with question mark if you apply the question mark so it will make it optional earlier we it was not optional so it was uh, expecting wherever we have used the na pipe it was expecting parameter okay again i think we have broke some code let's add a debugger in pipe So first value is Rahul, then parameter we have sent as NA. So it has sent okay. And value is undefined. And param is also undefined. Okay, that is not an issue. We have to use an I mean parameter with NA to some another value. Let's use it to alternate mobile number let's check it okay here it is printing but for hyphen hyphen it is not printing so let's print value like what we get if value is not there I mean, yeah, the problem will come but you can always check like what value i'm getting okay if you are sending parameter then it is coming otherwise it is undefined so we have added a check of empty so it should be undefined so this way also you have to solve your angular issues like you have to print or you have to debug whatever you can say so if you can see on alternate mobile column we have sent parameter let me minimize this so on alternate mobile you can see with na i have sent a parameter also like i want to print this value okay and apart from that just any is there so if you can see here we have checked like if parameter is undefined parameter is not undefined you have to return parameter like whatever na or hyphen hyphen is there we are what we are getting from the html otherwise we are writing hyphen hyphen so you can see apart from any alternate mobile you can see the hyphen okay so this is just a basic example how you can create your custom pipe i mean logic can be anything whatever we have written here it can be anything consider like uh, those who know like aws or who has worked on the aws bitbucket whenever you whenever you upload a file to aws bitbucket okay so you will get a file name with certain number of numbers then whatever your file name okay so whenever you are showing that to the browser okay on the html so you don't need that extra characters okay so 
for that kind of scenario you can your you can create your custom point that will create that number of characters and and will actually return the file name okay so there are number of scenarios where you can create your custom pipes and what the default also i have told you like default is like date is the only what we use maximum because it has let's say what i mean what type of date you want to see suppose i have provide hyphen here instead of that i need colon so let's check it out so you can see after 26 i have the column so these are the flexibility you have work while working with the angular if it was with the javascript or jquery you have to write the code to design this kind of date so this is what advantage angular provides us because they has provided all the basic functionality plus way to handle uh, what we can say pipe like they have created pipe with format also like what are the format you send we will send the data like that okay so you don't have to code for basic things like this so i think that's it for this episode we'll come back with the next topic thank you guys for watching